welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little look into my anxiety bag. I'm going to give you guys all the tips and tricks on what I put into this bag and yeah, for anyone struggling with anxiety, I just want you to know it's so okay. We, so many of us struggle day to day with either an anxiety disorder or regular anxiety. Uh, sometimes people just have anxiety, anxieties in life and that's okay too. Now this bag, it's full of things that I either feel better when I have with me or it just makes me um, calm down easier. The reason I made a DIY anxiety emergency bag in the first place was because I find myself a lot when I have anxiety attacks or panic attacks not knowing what to do not knowing how to calm myself down because when you're panicking it's hard to focus on those things I can't really explain it but your mind's not really there so yeah And I usually leave this, I have a little area in my room, it's my anxiety area, um, anxiety slash meditation, and I will actually meditate on my floor, uh, it's like a little spot I made with a little carpet, and I'll meditate there, and I have my anxiety bag, so I know I'm set, I know I have everything that I need in case of an anxiety or panic attack. I will also bring this with me when I go out. Um, if I hang out with friends, if I hang out with family, I always have this on me in the car or just on me. <laughs> so yeah. So the first thing that I have is this. I've showed you guys in some of my hair care videos. I use this and you just go like this with it. I'm, I'm wearing a bun so it's a little harder. But basically, you go like that in your hair, with your hair down, obviously. What it does is it helps you focus on the massaging of the head, which helps you focus less on the anxiety. It also calms you down. The next thing I have is CBD. Um, I use CBD almost every day, probably every day, um, whenever I feel panicky or anxiety coming. Sometimes I can just feel it. I can feel my heart uh, beating faster. And so I just put a few droppers. I'd write it ship. The next thing I have in here is my anxiety coloring book. So I often buy coloring books. Um, you're never too young to own a coloring book, FYI. I have a lot of coloring books and this is one of them. And yeah, I color through this when I'm anxious. And basically it just like takes my mind off of what I'm thinking about. The next thing I have is this random planner. Um, this is where I put all my anxiety thoughts. Um, so you can see these are things I've written down to calm myself. So anxiety attack steps. Acknowledge my symptoms are anxiety. The second one is close eyes, deep breath, three times in by nose, out by mouth. The third one is challenge the thoughts and realize they aren't accurate. So you see what I mean? It goes step by step. So over here I have notes that I take when I'm trying to figure out and rationalize the things I'm scared of. So if I'm scared of, uh, for example, someone passing, uh, I will rationalize the thought by no, they aren't going to pass. Or 
it's very unlikely that they are going to pass. I also have this that Jesse bought me and it's a, it says life is a journey, not a destination. And I just put a bunch of different notes in here. I color in here. It's an awesome book. I have my pencils and markers and all that stuff for my coloring. I have a book. Uh, this book I actually have been wanting to start reading again. I got I think halfway through it once and never read it again. So yeah, I'm gonna start reading this again but this is also a great way to relieve your anxiety. The next thing I have is this Jinjin candy. I used to have a lot of these, I have to get more, but these are ginger candies and they are very, very strong tasting, I am warning you that, but they honestly help so much with your stomach when you're anxious. If you're someone who gets stomach issues when you're anxious, whether it's nausea or just gases or whatever, take this, it works like a charm even though it tastes nasty. I have these from a place called Sage and I use these not just for the purpose that it says on the bottles but um, I just think it's nice to use when I'm anxious. It also distracts me quite a lot. Uh, smells are very good distractions. This is a carrot lip balm. This is an energe energy revitalizing remedy. And it's just a little roller if I can open it and you can just put it anywhere you like uh, whether it's your hand your neck and it has amazing essential oils in it this one is perfect for when you get anxiety headaches uh, it's called peppermint halo and it's called a headache remedy and something I love to do with this is I put it on my temples and I will put it on the back of my neck a bit and it soothes my headaches a lot. The next thing I have is one of my stones. I have multiple stones but I keep this one in my bag. It is so nice to just hold when you're anxious. It, it really does wonders. <laughs> there are a few things I want to add to my bag. I want to add my water bottle and I want to add maybe some dry snacks. It's very difficult for me to eat when I'm anxious. Um, I just, my whole body like goes into chaos. My stomach is probably the worst part of my anxiety. It was like, it's to the point where like, I'll like convince myself I have like every stomach illness in the world. Uh, but the truth is I've been tested for every stomach problem ever at this point many many tests later and it's anxiety so um, yeah I want to add some dry snacks to it and some water oh and I forgot to show you one of the most important things in my bag elastics I always have elastics elastics when you're anxious are so important to put your hair up it helps a lot. It gets the hair out of your face and it cools you down faster if you get heat flashes as well. And when I am home, I will grab, I have, I will actually show you. I always have this in my freezer. This is also, to, you can also heat it up. It has rice in it, I think. Um, yeah, so I put this in the freezer and it's literally like an ice pack. So um, I get really, really hot when I'm anxious. The best thing to do is to grab something cold from the freezer, especially if you feel like you're gonna pass out, which I do. Um, you wanna just hold it, put it around your neck, put it around your face, your head, and you can also heat it up, you know, when it's your time of the month, that kind of thing, but specifically, that's what I use it for. And the last thing I always have next to me is stress relief lotion. This is eucalyptus tea. Um, 
It was from Bath and Body Works and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY anxiety emergency kit. I hope it helped some of you. I hope it inspired some of you to create one of your own. And if you think I should add anything or if you have any ideas, please comment them down below because I'd love, love, love to hear what you guys have to say. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh honey, though our friendship ceases.